Let's hey, that, that. we're in car reviews, and that's Zach. Hi. And this is Steven, and we're gonna be reviewing the Wolverine. Shing. Shing. Uh, I didn't see it, so Zach's really going to be talking about it, and I'm going to be asking the questions like, what was it about? In a summary, what was it about? <clears throat> so basically, in a nutshell, this movie is about uh, Wolverine, played by Hugh Jackman, who, um, in the beginning, in World War II times, when the second nuclear bomb went off, or maybe it was the first, but it was called, what was it called? The Nagasaki one. Nagasaki one. Yeah, so it's basically taking place at a Japanese camp, uh, military camp, and Wolverine is held hostage there in a little thing, and he ends up saving the Jap this one Japanese soldier's life from the nuclear from the bomb. bomb, and that guy's like, oh, God, I owe you my life now, blah, blah, blah. And Hugh Jackman's like, no, nah, man, seriously, don't worry about it. So it flashes forward, and it shows what he's doing after X3. Hmm. He's kind of living like a bum. He's all grown out and scruffy, and he has nightmares and visions of Jean Grey, hmm. and now he had to kill her. And then this one Japanese girl contacts him. I think her name's like Mako or something, something Japanese. And she's like, hey, man, come meet my freaking employer. He's this Japanese dude, you know. He's dying. He wants to say goodbye. And she works for the Japanese guy that he saved. And then he ends up getting flown out to Japan, Tokyo to be exact, where he's like, hey, Logan, I'm old and I'm on my deathbed. I want your immortality. And I feel like you want to die because you've lived long enough and you've been through enough pain so let me let's both win here i want your life you want to die and he's like nah man i'm not gonna do that but logan is now and immortal he's mortal because somebody stole his powers from him mm -hmm. and then and then, then chaos, that's the chaos movie. and chaos ensues after that let's see what else so now you mentioned so logan has a thing for for that young yeah girl. he has he has a thing for this this guy's granddaughter and it's just kind of weird because you can't help but think she looks like a 17 year old little school girl and he looks like a 48 year old man so that just doesn't really fit well with me and so i kind of felt like i was watching an inappropriate porn the whole time there was a sex <laughs> scene or there was like a scene of intimacy with them so that was weird i didn't buy it there was i didn't see any chemistry between the two of them mm -hmm. it was pretty bad i didn't like that there was a whole bunch of other characters in there, but they all kind of blurred together as just ninjas and, like, assholes. So they didn't really stand yeah, out. Yeah, none of them stood out. And there was just, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff going on and were lots there, of plot. And there was lots of storytelling. There, there was lots of... Oh, there was lots of storytelling. Lots story of storytelling, like old Japanese stories that they would tell Logan. And, oh, yeah, back in Zonzon Zinzon. And I'm like, I don't... No, no, I'm not caring for that. What about... Um, um, were there any other mutants in the movie besides there was Wolverine? One, there was one other mutant in her... I can't remember her name. It was like Cobra or... So, she's some main villain in the comic. Okay. Some Cobra chick from G.I. Joe. I don't know what her <laughs> name was. But she had like a snake tongue and she spit venom out and it was super menacing. It wasn't. She was really She was really lame. And she was only in it for like two seconds. And so she was supposed to be the main villain. At the end, they're like, hey, she's the main villain. Check it out, bro. And I'm like, no, she's not. She's been in the movie for like a credit and a half, dude. I don't even know who she is. Hmm. She, I don't know. It just it was weird. And then there's the Silver Iron Samurai? Si Silver Samurai's in it. And um, there's a little twist with Silver Samurai. He's only the thing, the robots in it at the end. And then there's that fight with it. And it's cool, I guess. I mean, it's pretty all right. Cool. Um, what about, um, yeah, were there's any a, of the other scenes exciting? I mean, there's some cool action scenes. I mean, the action, when there was action, was well done. You know, mm -hmm. the CG was good. The the writing was fine and everything. And, yeah, the, the CGI was good. Chor choreography was good of the fights. It was all it was all good. When, when it was going, it was good. But then it would just slow down, and I felt slow. myself... I found myself almost falling asleep a couple of times. Did it feel like it was long, too long? It did something? feel like I was long. And there was actually a couple of moments in a movie, which is actually how I determine if a movie's bad or not. If I ask myself in my head, why am I here when I'm watching the movie? That's usually never good. Or if I ask myself things like, when is this movie going to be over? Not a good sign. Mm -hmm. uh, and I asked myself that a couple of times, both of those questions in my head. So definitely not the so, best one and it's which is funny because everyone's praising it on um reviews saying oh this is the wolverine movie you've been waiting for and it's totally fathoms better than origins mm -hmm. and to which i say to those people no it's not it's i don't not know if you origins. guys are watching the same movie but 
Maybe they're going for more plot-driven stuff, but the plot-driven crap that they give you here is totally not engaging. Like, I wasn't feeling the plot that they were given. It was just totally boring to me. Um, the the Yeah, I just I liked everything about Origins a lot better. And I even just watched uh, X3 recently, uh, and I found that more entertaining, which is pretty bad. Um, but X3 wasn't too horrible. I know a lot of people hate it, and I know why people hate it, and I hate the things that they hate about it. But it was still entertaining. And this one, I found it a little lackluster on the entertaining so, segment. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, if you're if you're liking X-Men, you're liking uh, Wolverine, you're going to go see it regardless of what I say. Uh, and you'll still probably like it. I still liked it. I'm still going to buy it. I just didn't like it as much as I thought I would. And it was still fairly disappointing. Though I don't feel like I regret seeing it, you know, paying to see it in the theater because I thought it was good in the theater. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'd say go see it. I'm going to give it 7.5 shiny claws out of 10. Pretty disappointing. Kind of like the Iron Man 3 of the X-Men Wolverine kind of movies. Hmm. It was uh, yeah, it was a little disappointing to me. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's my review, guys. Like, subscribe, slash, claw, comment. Yeah. Tell us what you thought. Tell me I'm wrong. I don't know. Whatever. Make a valid statement. Don't just say, hey, man, you're an idiot. You're Origins, stupid. Origins and X3 sucked. Well, I know that X3 wasn't the best, but I actually loved Origins. So tell me what was wrong with Origins and tell me what was right with the Wolverine. The Wolverine. I'm I'm down to listen and maybe I need to see it again, but I don't think so. I, I'm pretty. I've seen it enough times. Anyways, guys, check you later. We're in car and here's my butt. Yay. <laughs> Is Sheikh Zula the Mike Ruler? Hey, we're in car.